Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's After Effects tutorial, we're going to create a really nice animation together. If you enjoy these kinds of videos, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and drop a comment below. Alright, let's jump right into the tutorial. First, we have a pair of glasses in our scene. Since the lenses were created in Illustrator, their colors become distorted once imported into After Effects. To fix this issue, select both lens layers and change the blend mode to overlay. If you don't see this option, simply click the toggle switches slash modes button at the bottom of the timeline to reveal the blending mode panel. After doing this, the lenses will return to their original color. We have three envelopes in our composition and we're going to animate them one by one. I start by selecting the first envelope and pressing P to open the position property. Then I hold shift and press R to reveal rotation as well. While at the very first frame, I add a keyframe for both position and rotation. Next, I move 310 frames forward, which is around 3 seconds and 10 frames, and add another set of keyframes. Now I go back to the first keyframe and move the envelope completely outside of the scene because it will enter from outside. At the last keyframe, I set the rotation to 360 degrees, so the envelope spins as it comes in. I select all keyframes, apply Easy Ease, and then go into the Graph Editor to adjust the motion speed. The envelope should enter quickly and slow down toward the end. I repeat the exact same steps for the second envelope. Then, to add variation, I select the rotation keyframes of both envelopes and shift them forward by 2 to 3 frames. This creates a nicer staggering effect. Also, I move the second envelope's entire layer 10 frames forward in the timeline. This ensures the envelopes don't appear at the same time and gives the animation more depth. The third envelope is made up of multiple layers, so I start by creating a null object. I align the null to the center of the envelope. Then parent all envelope layers to the null using parent and link. Now I can animate the entire envelope through the null object. I apply the same position and rotation animation we used on the previous envelopes. Next, we animate the opening flap. I select the letter flap layer and move its anchor point to the upper edge where the flap will rotate from. We switch the layer to 3D mode and press R on the keyboard to reveal the rotation settings. While the envelope is in its final resting position, I add a keyframe for X rotation. Then I move 70 frames forward and set the rotation to negative 180 degrees, which fully opens the flap. I apply Easy Ease to the keyframes and refine the motion inside the graph editor. Now it's time to bring out the letter inside the envelope. I select the letter layer, open its position, and add a keyframe at the moment the flap is fully open. Then, after moving 70 frames forward, I raise the letter upward so it slides out. Again, I apply Easy Ease and adjust the speed for a smoother result.
At this stage, you may notice an issue. The letter might appear to move underneath the flap instead of above it. To fix this, I select the letter flap layer and go to Edit Split Layer. Then, I move the upper split piece below the letter text layer in the timeline. This makes the letter appear correctly above the flap. To enhance realism, we add shadows to the envelopes. I select the main letter layer and apply a drop shadow effect from the Effects and Presets panel. In the Effect Controls, I adjust the shadow's direction, distance, and softness. Then, I simply copy the drop shadow effect and paste it onto the other envelope layers to keep everything consistent. This ensures that all envelopes share the same shadow style creating a unified look across the entire scene. By applying the exact same effect settings, we maintain visual harmony and avoid having to manually adjust each shadow one by one, which also speeds up the workflow and keeps the animation clean and cohesive. Now, as the final step, let's create a null object to add a smooth camera zoom-in effect to our scene. This null object will give us more flexibility when animating the camera, allowing us to control the movement without adjusting the camera directly. Now, let's select all the layers and parent them to the null object. This way, any movement applied to the null object will automatically affect all the connected layers in the same way. This method keeps your animation organized and under control, eliminating the need to animate each layer individually. With the null object selected, press S on the keyboard, then hold Shift and press P. This will reveal both the position and scale properties at the same time. First, we add keyframes for both scale and position. Then, move 60 frames forward in the timeline to create the zoom-in effect and adjust the position accordingly. Next, select all the keyframes and apply Easy Ease. Open the graph editor to adjust the speed of the motion, allowing the camera to zoom in faster and more naturally. Now to add more realism to our animation, we select all layers and enable Motion Blur. This will create a natural blur effect whenever the layers move, making the animation look much more realistic and dynamic. And that's it! Our animation is complete! I hope the steps we covered in this video have been helpful for you. In this tutorial we learned how to create envelope and camera animations in After Effects, and added realism with shadows and motion blur effects. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of our future tutorials. See you in the next video, and until then, take care.